Hi, today we have a really cool summer project for everyone called Cyanotype. And this is a photography process that's been around for over 180 years. It is a very easy, very inexpensive, and really has big wow factor for kids. In this video, I'll show you a few of the different projects that we did. I have sped it up. Although it is very easy to do, it is a little bit time consuming and I didn't want to bore everybody with the video. You don't need a dark room. We're simply using the power of the sun and iron salt solutions that are embedded in paper that came already pre-treated. There's a chemical reaction between two different substances, a light sensitive ferric ammonium citrate and potassium ferrous cyanide. These chemicals mix together to form a solution that goes onto the paper before we unpackaged it. And then when it is exposed to UV rays, it reacts and that chemical reaction causes a change in the paper. By placing objects on the paper, we're able to control which parts of the paper react and which ones don't and create really cool artwork. In this project that you're watching right now, we created a sun to celebrate summer solstice and we did that using construction paper. And there you go, right now we're rinsing it in water. Very simple final step and there's our artwork, it just needs to dry. So the next one we did was using some leaves and um, rocks because we thought that would be fun to try and see how it turned out. With the leaves you want to make sure anything that's flat that might blow away you put it under a sheet of acrylic and that'll help hold them in place while you're exposing it to UV rays in the sun. And you can see it goes from blue, the paper, and it slowly fades over about five minutes, depending on the intensity of your sun, to almost white. And then once it's white, then we can take off all of our pieces. And you'll see in a moment here as I remove them, that under those pieces, it'll continue to be blue. And that's when we take it and submerse it in water and that helps to stop the chemical reaction. The blue, which is a result of that oxidation of the potassium ferrous cyanide, is a stable compound pigment known as Prussian blue, and that's what gives cyanotype art its unique look. When you submerse it in the water, it's gonna look like it's fading. Don't worry, that's all part of the chemical reaction that's taking place, and it'll slowly change as you're soaking it. Now, as you see here, I'm doing my soaking in the water outside. That was just so I could get this video. I actually highly recommend doing your soaking of the water of the in the water indoors and out of direct sunlight. It'll give you a much crisper, whiter image in the areas of the paper that were under your objects and it'll make for much stronger artwork. In a second, I'll show you our final artwork and you'll see the difference between those that I rinsed outdoors and those that I rinsed indoors. It is quite a pronounced difference, but for kids, they probably won't care. Here's another fun one we did with some flowers. I just took pictures of these ones showing the various stages. And there you can see underneath. So here's a quick flip through of some of the art we did. So this one was uh, rinsed outdoors. And again, that's the rock with the leaves that we did outdoors. And you can see that they're quite blue. And there's our sun. So they still have some blue, so it's kind of a blue on blue look. Now these are the flowers. This one I rinsed indoors, and you can see we've got a lot more white and it turned out really cool. And then this final image is another one that I rinsed indoors, and you can see it's much more white and pronounced and crisp. So that's it. It's a really easy, fun way to explore chemistry and art this summer. Visit steampoweredfamily.com to learn more.